All right. Uh, let me just make some quick introductions. Chief McManus from the San Antonio Police Department will provide, provide a brief on why we're here at uh, Little Lena's vigil. After that, our uh, acting special agent, Mr. Garris with the FBI, will also be uh, able to provide some insight as to the case and its makeup. We ask that you hold your questions until the very end and we will address them. Fair? Chief. Morning, everybody. Let's start with a recap, Chief. All right. So, starting from the very beginning, uh, when we first learned which was around 7.15, uh, I believe it was Monday night, uh, that Lena was missing. Um, uh, we pulled every resource that we had and set up a command post at the, uh, at the apartment complex. You didn't come in or leave that complex without having your car searched, without having your name and your license plate taken down. We searched almost 300 apartment complex or apartments in that complex, uh, not just once, but twice and sometimes even more than that. We brought in search dogs from over an hour and a half away that same evening. Uh, we requested assistance from the FBI. Uh, they responded very generously with their, uh, with their agents. Um, a command post was established on the scene of the complex. Uh, it was later moved to USAA, um, where it exists today. Uh, we set up another command post at police headquarters, uh, staffed primarily by, well, I'll let, I'll let the uh, Agent Garris talk about that. Uh, but we spared no resource in trying to find Lena. Uh, this was probably one of the most intense searches that I've seen. I was reading on social media where folks were asking, what about the border crossings? And as I mentioned uh, just a few minutes ago, there's not a law enforcement agency in this country, uh, be it federal or be it local or state, that doesn't know that Lena's missing. So if anyone tries to get across the border with her, uh, hopefully the agents will pick that up at the border. Um, we will continue this search until we go completely cold, uh, but we are not stopping. We still have hopes that we will be able to recover Lena, uh, hopefully safe and sound. But uh, it, it's been a very, very intensive search uh, with no resources spared. And uh, again, we'll continue that until we run cold. Residents of the apartment have pointed out that there's a lot of gaping holes around the complex. We had, we had all the entrances and exits covered that evening uh, and, and uh, the following day. Um, that's something that we have to take up with the management of the property about fixing fences and whatnot, but we had all the entrances and exits covered that evening. I don't think she's still on site, though. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. We don't know. What's it going to take to elevate this from a missing person's case to something that's happening? You know, somebody asked that the other day, and... You know, you know, what's the difference whether it was an abduction case or whether it's a uh, just a missing person? And what we're doing right now, there is no difference. What would change is if we got information uh, about a possible suspect or a possible vehicle, we would be following up on that as well. So that's what the difference is. Right now, we're doing as much as we would do, even if it's an abduction, even if it were an abduction case, we're doing as much as we would do. Minus looking for some specific person. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Justin Garris. I'm the acting special agent in charge of the FBI San Antonio field office. I'd like to thank the community for their uh, unwavering level of support. Uh, especially the Afghan community, the individuals that live in the apartment complex, which we continue to search, our local 
state, public and private partners. They've done a phenomenal job. Um, today we're here to support Lena and her family and show our co continued commitment to the San Antonio Police Department's investigation. We encourage anyone that has tips or leads or information, if they can give those to the San Antonio Police Department um, ASAP, and just any continued support that the community can give us, we greatly welcome it. What is the uh, process looking like right now? I mean, I know that there was some, uh, some process going inside SAPD. Uh, can you tell us what that process looks like in terms of the search? I know there's video camera footage of an interview. What has been seen on that? Uh, any information about suspects? Uh, no suspects identified yet, but what are we looking at right now? So I just want to reiterate what Chief McManus said. Um, we've had two command posts, one at USA, and we have one downtown. The one downtown, we have hundreds of agents and officers thoroughly examining video evidence or video uh, media, I'll leave it at that, um, going through hundreds of leads, and we're doing our best to locate this missing girl. So we do, which is which is why we're supporting San Antonio Police Department. Chief McManus asked us within the early hours to, to assist them with the investigation. We have a phenomenal relationship with the San Antonio Police Department. They're the consummate professionals and premier law enforcement agency. Um, we brought in our child abduction response team within hours, like Chief McManus said. They have very unique capabilities um, and background. We also brought in our behavioral analysis unit out of Quantico. We also have the data exploitation units here, and then we are doing some other sensitive things that I cannot discuss. We can transition to a Spanish.